Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. I'm a bit, a little bit excited to share all the art in bloom. This is what it's called a uh, um, iBird. We never had a product like that before, so it is the bomb. What it is, well, first let me show you on the page. It is on page 116 in the annual catalog 2021. So you get the stamp set. You can see here you get the dies and the folder. Right there, if you get the bundle, you're saving 10%. Now we're going to flip on page 157. So I show you the number for the bundle there. I think if you get one, you want them all. Okay, it's just I think what you, you want. So here it is. You cannot buy just the dies or just the folder. They come as a set. And that what is the iBird about it. It is amazing. I don't know if I said the name correctly because you know... Um, I don't pronounce my H too well, so it's hybrid. Here we go. So here it is. We get the stamp set, and we get the dies, and you get this also in the dice. So you get the flower, the leaf, you get the banner. That looks like a ticket, little flower, more leaves. And then the stamp set also, you know, you get the picture here of, so you get the flowers, the filler, the leaves, little border, and some greeting. So today really what I'm going to be sharing it's how to use the stamp set. I'm going to show how to use it by itself and then how to use this amazing embossing folder. Not only that it is an embossing folder, but the word iBird, this is what it's going to do here. You take the dies, the die go on where it says stamping up, and that's going to get right in, and it's no trick on how to put it in. It's going to fit right where it should fit. And it go right in between the raised parts. See, just when you close down, I would suggest not close where you put the dice because that could move. So you're going to close the back of it. So first, let me share how to use the stamp set with the flowers. So you see here I did the flowers that I stamp. I think if you do, um, you know, the cut and emboss, uh, I don't see why I should use uh, the stamps. I think the stamps would be better just on a card without the cut and emboss. But that's my personal choice. Here it is, just emboss, no cutting. And here is the die cut with put on that lattice there. This is color with blends. This one was uh, add the color with the stamp set. And this one is the simple uh, with the blending brush. So this one again, it's embossed and then die cut. So let me share the stamp set and then we're going to bring the machine. So because it's a photopolymer. I like to use my foam in the back and I should have a second plate though. So let me bring a second plate. <clears throat> so now the first one that we want to do, the first place a plate that we want to do, that's going to be um, the detail stamp. So I'm going to bring this here and it go on the long way. So you can do it on a um, clear block. So let me share with the clear blog, mine as well, right? So I'm going to bring my uh, memento ink here and I'm going to ink my stamp and I'm going to stamp that right there. And in the back, just to show you, we're going to put clear blog, okay? Clear blog. CB is going to be for clear blog, so we're going to see it all worked the same. Now I'm going to use, let's use a different color this time. I'm going to use, um, instead of Fresh Freshia, I'm going to use um, the polish pink here, a brighter color. 
So now I place the three on this. So the way that I done that, mm, I place it on my stamp stamp. And it's not a perfect fit. What I mean by that, it's not a perfect fit. It's a filler like watercolor filler. So you're going to put it on top and it's going to fit on one of those, uh, the bigger block, not the big, big one that I'm using. I'm using the E block. And then we're going to put that here. So this way you can do all three together or you could do one by one and have different color. And you know what? This is going to be done on uh, the clear plate this way. So we're going to do different color on this one just for something different. So I'm going to use my polish pink with this one. See, we're going to line that up right here. We're going to smack that right there. Now, oops, see it grabbed the other one. Um, we're going to clean that up because we're going to use another color. I don't want to get my hand dirty. <clears throat> And then I'm going to use another color. We're going to use uh, Daffodil Delight. Oh, this is Mango. We're going to use Daffodil. So let me use Daffodil here. So now you're going to see many ways that you can use this. We're going to put that right here. Et voila. And then the next one, we're going to use Mango. And then our mango. So we're going to hang this. And we're going to do our mango. Et voila. Okay, so now we know that's with the clear block. Okay, we're going to leave that aside. I got something there that's okay. Now, we're going to use... Let me close this here. We're going to use the Stamparatus. What I like about the Stamparatus, if, if you want to make more than one card, that would speed up the process a lot. So we're going to use uh, white again here. And I love to work in the corner. Absolutely love to work in the corner. So I'm going to put that in the corner there. Now we're going to use the Detail Stamp. That's the one that I you want to work with first and the reason why I think that it should work first they're attached together and the way they're attached together you know exactly where the embossing and the cutting gonna go so I'm gonna take this the single one go at the top we're gonna put that right there and then we're gonna close this That's okay that it was not washed properly because we're going to go back with our black. And usually I like to put a case under this so it make it easier when you ink. Voila. And keep that in the corner. It's very rare that I'm going to use the magnet just because I think the magnet put a cramp in my style because I have to move the magnet and switch the, the thing. So that's why I like to work in the corner. Now that you use the clear block or the Stamparatus, you're going to do this the same way. So you're going to align your stamp on top of to match this here. And like I said, it's not the perfect match. It's kind of a watercolor filler, okay? So now we're going to put these here and then the next one. So the beauty about this, they all fit the three together. So now it don't matter if I would use the clear block or the Stamparatus. See if I take a clear block, it would fit right there. I won't do that because we're done with the clear block. So you would see the clear block aligned the same way. But with the Stamparatus, we're going to take this, close this. Now I'm going to move that there. Is it still in the view? Oh, yeah. Now we're going to remove that. Put, oops, let's close that back. Oh, this one, what happened? What, what, what? Oops. 
let's make sure. Okay. Maybe I get that stamp dirty there. Let's make sure it's properly. It, here we go. Now, uh, oh, I got the Mango Melody. Is it Mango I want? You know what? I'm going to do the polish paint just because it's a bright color to show good in the video. Now, we're going to ink all three. I went on the side there. All is good. If you do that, <coughs> you can take your uh, chamois and wipe that off. Another thing that I love with the Stamparatus, if you get the the ink spot so then you don't have that mess there now we're going to close this make sure it's in the corner close that voila and if you want darker that's the beauty of a stamparatus you can go ahead and add it again and then voila so this year it's the stamparatus so that's how you use the uh, stamp. Now we're going to bring the machine and I'm going to share a few different ways on how to emboss and cut. This is the wicked part that is so cool about this bundle. So let me make space here. And we had another one. What did I do with it? Hmm. We're going to find it, right? Oh, here it is. Okay. Get both of them. Okay, so it's the same way than a um, 3D embossing folder. You're going to need the platform number one. Now, you're going to take, we're going to do it without the dies first, okay? So, I got a piece of very vanilla here. We're going to put that here. And then, we're going to emboss this. Just like a regular... 3D embossing folder and this is such a deep a deep embossing folder I love it see can you see how deep it is beautiful very raised up now we're going to bring our die and like I said it go on the stamping up side so we're going to Put that in. and you're gonna feel it it go right in okay it's don't like uh, click in but it stay in if you're right at the right spot it fits right in between the raised part of the embossing see now it's not moving so now we're gonna take this and match it oops I'm sorry it go in the back there so this is a little bit tricky because you don't want to move the die. So you're going to hold it with your uh, cardstock. That's what, oh. Now you're going to match the black with the edge of your stamp there. So if the camera wouldn't be in my way, it would be easier, but I think I got it. Now keep that close and boom. Now we're going to cut that again. I mean, cut and box. And we're going to remove this. Et voila. Now we're going to raise. Voila, you get this, but then you get your flower that you can pop up and so on. And see, you get all the details. Now, I want one that's going to be just the white because I want to show you a different way you can color it. So again, it's on the stamping up side. You want to put your die here. And now you're going to put your paper. And then this. And roll on. That's simple. Many of you are going to ask me if the seaside the one with all the seashell because it's the same uh, principle you know you get the dies that match with the folder 
that one it's not a high bird so it will not fit inside your folder this is the first one we got and I got a feeling it won't be the last one see now you get your flowers oops here we go boom done is that amazing so you don't have much waste. If you just want this part, you can cut a little bit smaller and just have your flower. Absolutely. Now, we got one more here that we done. Uh, that was with the Stamparatus, just one color. So we're going to hold that there. And again, you're going to match that on this side here. See, I'm sideways a bit, but it's still all going to work. Here we go. Oh, need to push this down. So yeah, the one, the outline one, match perfect with the the, the the embossing folder. So you, that's what you want to concentrate on. Now we're gonna roll this on. Why it was sideways is just the way that I started my stamp. That's it. I didn't center it in the center, and et voila. How simple is that? Now let me share a few ways. I like this one with a darker color. Then a pale color I think look better if you sponge it. It's whatever work for you. And this just lift up. Also in the with the die set you got uh, oops what did I do with the die now? <clears throat> you get the leaves. You get the detailed leaves. You got just the out of the leaves that if you use the stamp that's what I call the ticket the banner and the little flower let me remove this now let me bring a scrappy paper here what I like to do with a white I like to use green to so I'm going to use soft succulent that I got it right here and you know what here we go. And I like to start always on a scrap paper and come on in. And it's going to go on the white a bit, absolutely, but it's going to be darker on where it's raised. I think that is my favorite way to use this dye here. I love it. And then I even add a little bit of shaded spruce. That's why it's so dark. I think I still add some shaded spruce. Here we go. And just give a little bit of... Okay. That looked kind of funny, right? But look what happened when you put your flowers. And I didn't add extra leaf on this one. So that's how I done this one. So this, you can choose the color you would put it on. Let's see if I put it on white. That's the wrong size, but you're going to get the jig of it. Oh, this, like it this way. To go the, and this going to get popped there. So that way you can use many colors and boom. So that was with one color stamp, but the other one that we did, see, okay, we got that color. Now you can add different color. Is that cool or what? So if you add a different color, oh, that's the same. Okay, we're going to do that one there. And then here we go. If you add different color, you could, if you do a few cards, you can do all like in purple, all in blues, and then you cut them out and make a few cards, or you can stamp one by one like I share. Now, the one for the flower, so that was the one that you just see, that was with the stamp set. Now, if you choose not to do the stamp set, you can do just the die cut. Well, let me share how that look. I got my sponge ready to go here with fresh freesia. Uh, I use the blend for uh, the center though. So I use daffodil and then I would do just my center here. See? 
and it's the same thing if you want to color with the blends one thing you want to be careful though when you color with the blends let's say this is the raised flower here you want to be careful when you go oops when you go on the side not to go too much on the side so it don't it keep the outline white or you can make it on the side doesn't matter so it's a little bit more time consuming to color with the blends the old flowers and that was like I got it someplace here we're gonna find it in a minute here it is so that was with the ink pad but see this looks so much better different color um, this one was with the blend okay uh, the blend with alcohol now we're going to do with the blending brush so again I like to start on the side and this I don't worry about the outside of the white I just going to put darker on the edge and coming lighter and then turn it So I go all on the outside of the flower first and then I'm going to brush that in softly. A bit darker here. So you see you just keep on adding as much as you want and call it good when you're done. And ink as it dry it's going to be lighter. But that's how I done all my flowers on this one. And then it's the same then like for the background that was on white and I uh, sponge with the blends. Now this one I use the green uh, that soft succulent. I added the detail petal on the flowers. This I end cut the banner because I didn't want the long one. This here it's the long banner that it's part of that and those flowers are colored with the stamping blends. Now this one is just embossed. No die cut on this one except I use what I call the ticket and if you see the two little holes there I use the label me fancy and I use this. Let me share Hmm. I think I get one. Yeah, I was trying with the long one. I didn't like it. But to do the, the circle one, what you're going to do is put your die. And you see you get one, two, three. I mean your die cut a piece. You line up with the third one there. And so you're going to say, okay, it's about right here. You have to push it back down so it's don't you don't cut the little bits and pieces and then you're going to die cut see i got the circle the line that was because that was in the trash they were not equally and i decided to do this the circle instead on this one uh this one so many ways to use that many ways to add color to um this uh, amazing 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 bundle but the black i think that if you sponge i didn't need the black that's just a personal opinion i really like this one though with the variation of colors so whatever worked for you again that's a new product from stamping up called uh, the hyper and i'm going to have all supplies that i use for all the, those cards and also the measurement right below you get the direct link and you can order 24 7. thank you so much and have a lovely day my friend bye bye for now